Hey Flag family, we're back. I'm Dave, this is Trace. We're Flag Session. We're branching out into something a little bit different today. Tracy, what have we got? Well, we are still on the subject of flags, but being new to vexillology, we have been picked up on a few misdemeanors with our flag ownership. Yes, we may have flown things that we shouldn't have or in the way we shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought we'd do a bit of research on the do's and don'ts of flag ownership and hoisting. Ooh, and hoisting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great term, hoisting. <laughs> and we have compiled a list from all over the globe and we thought we'd share them with you. Right, so yes. buckle in. This is going to be fun. It's a little bit more of a serious video today but of course done in our style which is we'll try to poke a bit of fun at things where we can but this one's about a little bit more respect to flags and flag flying in general yes <laughs> yes okay okay so we are starting in india now previously the flag code stated that the national flag of india shall be made of hand spun and hand woven wool or silk um, or cotton However, in 2022, July, uh, they updated the flag code. Yes. So yes, hot Progress. off the press. Yes. Yes. Um, and now it allows for the tricolour to be made from polyester and other machine-made fabric. Nice. Um, so this has made it a lot more affordable for citizens of India because a lot of people are struggling to put food on the table yeah. and that's not just in India it's across the whole oh, world. It's everywhere inflation's yeah. mental. Um, <laughs> so obviously with their Independence Day coming up and it was a big one uh, they wanted to encourage people flying the national flag yes. so this was a really good way of making it affordable just to the general public so well done India. Yeah good Great job, job. Yeah. the progress in the in a good way you yeah, know definitely looking out for the little guy. Yeah but also staying with India their flag code states that the flag shall not be used used in drapery in any form whatsoever, Ooh. including private funerals. Didn't know um, that. Yeah. Uh, and the display of the Indian flag on a motor vehicle is limited to seven types of people. So not just any old Tom, Dick or Harry. Um, right. So it's people such as the president, the vice president, the Supreme Court judges and heads of Indian missions. So that's just really interesting, isn't so it? So not cricketers? No, um, no. And uh, talking of cricket, an Indian cricketer landed himself in trouble after cutting a cake with the Indian flag on it. The court filed a petition against him for dishonouring the flag. It was later dismissed as he was actually outside of the country at the time. See, that's amazing. That blows my mind that someone can make a cake probably unbeknowing, you know, oh, I'm just going to cut the old cake, you know, and that's considered, you know, dishonouring the flag. That's pretty full on. Yeah. Like, yeah. what do you guys think? Is that a little bit much or is that okay? You know, what do yeah. you think? I mean, obviously he was proud to put his flag on the cake in the first place. Exactly. So for me, it's about intent. Yeah, um, And obviously sure. his intentions were good, but clearly um, not received very well. Yeah. Lucky yeah. he wasn't in the country, you know. Yeah. Pretty full on. Right, what do we got next? Uh, Mauritius. Pretty cool flag. You know, we actually don't own this one, and we only realised today we don't have it. So we're going to have to fix that up one day. Uh, so the National Flying a Flag Flying Act of 2015 is any person who contravenes subsection 1, paragraph 2, you know, sentence 3, only kidding. Uh, so subsection 1 shall commit an offence and shall on conviction be liable to a fine not exceeding 100,000 rupees and to imprisonment for a term not exceeding two years. So that's serious. A little bit serious. Yeah. That's really serious, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So oh, uh, yeah. you wouldn't want to get caught out in Mauritius doing the wrong thing. No. No. We won't be going there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, also, my beautiful country, New Zealand. Yes, we're a free country. Yes, we're democratic. And no, you can't do certain things with the flag. <laughs> no. Right. So, any New Zealand citizen may have the New Zealand flag on their coffin. The first quarter should be draped over the left shoulder of the deceased. The flag should be removed before the casket is lowered into the grave or at a crematorium immediately after the committal. Hmm. Um, so there was an incident in New Zealand where someone burnt the New Zealand flag, set it on fire, 
Um, but there was a decision by the Supreme Court to quash a flag burner's conviction, means that, which is meaning the New Zealand flag can now be burnt anytime, anywhere, without fear of arrest. Now, I'm not sure I agree with that. You know, as a Kiwi, if I saw someone burning a New Zealand flag, I'd be fuming. You know, as would anybody. Fuming. You know, <laughs> yes, oh, I wouldn't be too happy about it. No. Obviously, um, very passionate about my country, passionate about flags. You put the two together, then you know, mm. it's like, yeah, I wouldn't be happy about that. Yeah. But they've made it that it's not illegal. Yeah, and that's yeah. it. You know, it wouldn't be encouraged. Um, you know. People wouldn't be happy. You'd probably get a lot of abuse from other people. I would imagine so. Yeah, you're not necessarily going to end up in prison. Um, yeah, there you go. Right, okay. who have we got next? We are staying in Oceania, but we will go to Fiji. They have a national flag protection bill also uh, from 2015. So, yes, a lot of acts and bills yeah. seem to have appeared in Great 2015. Great year of flag progress. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> protect the flag yeah. <laughs> but any person who contravenes or fails to comply with any provision under this act commits an offense and shall upon conviction be liable to a fine not exceeding five thousand dollars or a term of imprisonment not exceeding three years or both however if that person is um from a company like a director uh, or a non-government organization then the fine could actually be up to 50,000 and um, yeah if they continue um, doing the misdemeanor the misdemeanor yeah 5,000 per day okay I've been to Fiji once and I'm not going back <laughs> no, no seriously that's that's pretty serious it is isn't it does it specifically say what uh they were doing or if, what if, if no. a person does anything i'm guessing desecrating a flag yeah well you know. obviously it all surrounds the the whole protection bill so there's lots of different dis misdemeanors right. in there um right. so i guess you know just doing anything that you shouldn't be doing yeah um yeah but, and what's the last piece of information yeah, so the education ministry has reminded schools that holding a flag ceremony is compulsory I like that a little yeah. subtle reminder, everyone. You know, flag ceremonies on Mondays. Yeah. You know. But that's good in a way because it's actually showing the flag to children at a young age, and hopefully they'll carry on flying their flag at home and as feeling well. that pride. You know, yeah. yeah, it's great. So I think it's a good thing. Right, moving to the northern hemisphere, to the grand old US of A. Right, we've got a few rules here. Um, the flag should never be carried flat or horizontally, but always aloft and free. Free the flag. Free the flag, we say. Let it fly. It's what it wants to do. <laughs> you know? Unless we're trying to take a photo of it. In yeah. that case, it doesn't it's want to be free. Stubborn little, you know, you know what. You know? <laughs> the flag should never be used as wearing apparel, bedding, or drapery. That's kind of annoying because it's such a fantastic design. It would make a great running top. Exactly. Just saying. Yeah. And who doesn't love a good bit of drapery? Exactly. <laughs> right. The flag should never be used as a receptacle <laughs> for receiving, holding, carrying, or delivering anything. So no pizza deliveries, guys. Yep. <laughs> you know? And don't wrap my Christmas presents up in the United States flag, please. <laughs> All right. Just this once. <laughs> um, and no part of the flag should ever be used as a costume or athletic uniform. So specifically athletic... <laughs> just just pointing that out i guess they have a lot of athletics out there i suppose it's a big sporting nation so there's always going to be that urge to put mm. the national flag on there yeah which i think is great but yeah clearly you can't do that no um yeah right and there's one little snippet here so if you go to arizona marking the fine well, marking the fine marking the flag is illegal it is a class two misdemeanor and can attract up to four years of jail and a few hundred dollars in fines so don't muck around in arizona leave all the flags alone you know <laughs> take photos leave only footprints all that kind of stuff you know? <laughs> but yeah it's interesting obviously with america each state has its own laws and rules. that's right but i did watch a ted talk on the american flag and um in the majority of states it's not really punishable um and it's not illegal to do a lot of these things it's right. just discouraged so right. yeah as we see online there's lots of 
clothing and duvet covers with the American flag on. It's a bit like the Union Jack. It's just mm. one of those iconic flags that people want to wear. Yeah. So, yeah. Right. Where are we off to next? We're going to Germany. Ooh, love a bit of Germany. <laughs> yeah. It's actually illegal to revile or damage the German federal flag, as well as any flags of its states in public. So offenders can be fined or sentenced to a maximum of three years in prison. So pretty serious there as well. Yeah, don't muck around in Germany. Yeah, but it's very much about doing it in public. So yeah. maybe just do it in private if you must. Mm -hmm. Yep, that'll work. Right, in Australia, a flag should never be allowed to fall or lie upon the ground. Now, my dad's Australian, and that is something he taught me. Never let a flag touch the ground. Mm. This specifically applies to Australia, but I would say it's a general rule of thumb yeah, for most countries. It, um, it should never be used to unveil monuments or plaques, cover tables or seats, or used as a curtain. Now, we run a lot, and we run down a lot of streets, and how many times do we see flags when we're flag spotting, like, oh, using it as a curtain, we can't count it as a flag spot. You know? no, it needs to be on a pole. <laughs> it needs to us. be on a pole, on display. Um, but yeah, um, it should never be flown when damaged, faded, or in a dilapidated condition. There are a lot of misdemeanors out there for that. We see some seriously war-torn flags on our travels. Um, they should never be flown upside down, even as a, a signal of distress. That's interesting. That's so interesting. Yeah, because it's such a specific thing, isn't it? That if it's upside down, it's like, oh, country's in distress. But they yeah. don't even do that in Australia. No. So how would we know if they're in distress? i watch the news. <laughs> 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 um, should never be flown from the same flagpole as another flag. We may have committed this sin, but it was on Anzac Day. We only have one flagpole, and we were doing it to commemorate, obviously, the Anzacs. Um, so we've been called out a few times for flying more than one flag on a flagpole. You know, it's our private residence. We can pretty much do what we want. It is a slap on the hand, but we do it in a real positive way. And you know, that's it. And it's I a big think debate. <laughs> it goes back to the cricketer with his cake, putting yes. the flag on it. He was doing it to celebrate his country that's right and we put flags on a flagpole to celebrate different countries rather than just flying our own flag yeah. um but yeah we are thinking about getting two extra flagpoles because we have a lot of flags and we like flying more than one at yeah. a time it looks cool um the only times i will say i'm still going to put three on a flagpole for the dead flags quiz because otherwise it's too easy and you guys seem to really like them. So <laughs> I'll whip them up and whip them back down again. <laughs> but anyway, moving on, let's go to Israel. Oh, yes, right. Mm. So Take it away. In 2016, again, you know, this 2015, 2016, we started protecting flags, yes. making a lot of rules. So not mm -hmm. sure what happened then. Uh, the Israeli government increased the financial penalty for flag desecration to a maximum of 16 thousand dollars and three years in prison and flag desecration can also lead to state funded benefits being denied for up to six years so if you're on a pension and wow, yeah. you go and destroy your israeli flag then you are not collecting your pension for six years that's a long time i'm guessing it's probably not worth destroying your flag for that no. you know or having your face on a public transport <laughs> Yeah, no, no admittance. No admittance. Don't let them on the bus. You know. <laughs> but yeah. Far out. Yeah. Uh, miserable degenerate. If you're watching, let us know if there's anything else in Israel. Yeah. You know, we couldn't find a lot. But um, right. Moving on to Thailand, off to Asia. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Um, okay. So using the flag on clothing, table, and in cushions and shoes is illegal in many Asian countries. In Thailand, even using the flag's three colors on shoes or thongs, we're talking jandals, people, um, can result in a fine or up to a year's imprisonment. That's pretty serious. That is pretty harsh. Yeah, just so, using yeah. the colors. Yeah, but exactly. I guess it's in that sequence. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, what else we got? Thailand has strict rules about messing with the national flag. 2017, so we're talking around this 2015, 16, 17 period. In tourist town Krabi, CCTV footage caught two drunk Italian tourists pulling down five Thailand flags from storefronts. The pair were tracked to a nearby guest house and arrested. That's pretty full on. Um, both had to apologize profusely and were lucky to escape jail time. The Thai Flag Act mandates between six months to two years imprisonment for such offenses. Mm. Um, so these two offending tourists claimed flags were of little consequence to them, especially Italians, but that's actually untrue. Tracy, 
what can actually happen in Italy? Yeah, so despite them saying it's no big deal in Italy, they can be jailed for two years for destroying a national flag. And even verbal desecration can attract a whopping 10,000 euros. So um, a up. fine. Yeah, so that's... That's insane. Yeah, they kind of lied there, didn't they, <laughs> they to did. get out of it. Lying but, through their teeth. Yeah, I yeah. mean, what do you expect? Who goes around, you know, pulling down national flags? Why would you do that? Well, I guess they were drunk, but at the same time, that's not something I would think to do when I've yeah, had a few. Exactly. But disrespecting the flag can also have you jailed for a year in Spain, yeah. two years in Greece, and five in Germany, oh, where man. the law applies to any national flag. And rightly so. Yeah. <laughs> <You know? laughs> well done, Germany. Well done, Germany. You're ahead of the pack. I like <laughs> it. Um, oh, what do we got here? Uh, in 2010, a man was photographed wiping his bottom... <laughs> with a French flag. Uh, laws were passed in France imposing 1,500 euro fines or 7,500 euro fines if your mischief takes place in a public place. Why would you do that? Like, seriously, pick anything else. <laughs> Don't use a flag. Oh, my goodness. In Montenegro, you can be fined 300 euros for flying foreign flags without a permit. Oh, man, we'd be screwed. <laughs> <laughs> we'd be very costly. We'd be racking up a big debt there. Yeah, which actually <laughs> takes us on to Denmark as well, doesn't it? Yeah, um, we've got a couple of friends in Denmark. Um, and one of them in particular... Uh, I'll put your username up on the screen. <laughs> no. So he has definitely categorically <laughs> stated that he is not allowed to fly anything other than the Danish flag in Denmark. And he has a huge collection. So yeah. A family was actually asked by the police to take down their American flag in order to avoid a 2,500 kroner fine, which is 375 US dollars, I think. So right. yeah, that's... Uh, it's a lot it of money. Awkward. Yeah. Oh, well, at least they were kind about it and I got a warning, you know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But interestingly, uh, Danish law permits you, uh, permits the burning of its own flag, but expressly prohibits the burning of any other national flag. Do you think so. that's like maybe in case it's taken as a, a challenge from other countries yeah, or act an act of war, or, that type yeah, of thing. disrespecting another country. So, yeah. yeah, they're obviously just serious about diplomatic relations. So, good yeah. on you, Denmark. Yeah, you don't hear Denmark in the news very often, do you? It's always positive yeah. news. Exactly. Yeah. Right, what else we got? Oh, the Philippines. Philippines. Yeah. So, it's illegal to display the national flag on the front of a building occupied by foreigners in any places of vice or anywhere where frivolity prevails, such as nightclubs and bars. So, or yeah, the red light they, district. <laughs> yeah, they don't want their flag obviously associated with that. I can understand it. Totally. I guess as well with the Philippines, it's known for that place you can go and you know do all your vices yep so they don't want it associating with their flag they want their country with yeah you know, to have a better reputation so i get that that's fine yeah fair enough um yeah so right uh we've got another one here disrespect can have wide interpretations around the world um so each country will be different but in 2019 a french basketball player in the chinese national basketball league was fined 10,001, which is new zealand is to, to over two thousand New Zealand dollars, which is about over, oh, probably about one and a half US dollars. So put that into practical terms for not looking at the flag during the national anthem, and that's not even his own national flag, you know. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Um, McDonald's, Coca-Cola and a German brothel. Not that you usually hear those three together. <laughs> yeah. um, they all have so much in common. <laughs> <laughs> but they found themselves in hot water over the use of the Saudi Arabian flag. And so has FIFA, uh, who wanted to use it on footballs. But obviously the Saudi flag incorporates religious text, making its misuse both disrespectful and blasphemous. Yep. So it also must never be flown half mad. So we actually never fly that flag on a flagpole with other flags, do we now? No, we did once because we didn't know. Yeah. And it was for like a quiz. But you know, since we learned that, we're just like, you know what? It's not worth it. <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah. So that takes us to Mexico. Good old Mexico. Right. So Mexicans are fussy about their flag. And in 2008, pop princess Paulina Rubio was fined when fashion photos of her 
draped only in a Mexican flag, appeared in Spanish Cosmopolitan magazine. Ooh. Yes, so no dressing in flags, please. <laughs> um, 2014, Miley Cyrus narrowly escaped being detained when one of her dancers butt slapped her with a Mexican flag, but she did receive a fine and good bloody job. Yeah, you should like not be doing that with a flag. How on earth did she think that was okay? And how did her management team yeah. think that would be okay? Yeah, it should never have happened. Yeah. No, like, um, there's some things where, you know, it's like, oh, well, um, that's a little bit far out. It's mm -hmm. a bit fussy, yeah. a bit strict, but I agree with that one. Yep, it's a flag. You know, yep, look after it. For sure. Um, what else? Uh, so whenever the national anthem is played in Mexico on television, the flag must also be shown at the same time. So yeah. that's interesting. I wish more countries would do that. Yeah, that's nice. People like would learn it. more flags. Yeah. <laughs> um, the image of the Mexican flag is protected by law. That is, the broadcasting and duplication of its image is regulated. And special permits are required for its use. So, Good. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Yep. And what have we got? The last one for Mexico. Oh, it's obligatory for all schools to have a Mexican flag on campus, and Mexican schools must hold flag ceremonies every Monday and to mark the start and the end of the academic year. I like that. Mexico, you are leading the way in vexillology for the next generation. I wish I'd do that, in New Zealand. I think most schools have a New Zealand flag. But it's not like there's a ceremony or anything. It's just there it's all year round, there. flapping in the breeze, you know, fading. <laughs> you know, yeah. yeah. Good. Should we go to Saudi Arabia? Oh, I'd love to go to Saudi Arabia. Right. So, in Saudi Arabia, four Bangladeshi expatriates were arrested in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, for allegedly insulting the country's national flag. You do not want to do that when you're in Saudi Arabia. No, you shouldn't anyway. But. Um, the arrests were made after a video posted on social media showed a man emptying a Saudi flag, which was being used to hold refuse or rubbish, you know, before cleaning it and folding it up. The four offenders allegedly tied up a flag to create a sack to hold the rubbish. Oh dear, come on. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Seriously. Use your t-shirt, anything. Yeah, <laughs> you know? and how did it get caught on camera as well? Like, <laughs> yeah. that's very unfortunate. You can see that they probably didn't even mean disrespect. They had a big flag. They needed to move some rubbish and they put it in there. <laughs> My question is, is, they went out for a walk wherever they're going. We'll just take our flag with us, eh? <laughs> no, I assume it was from... No, it was from their apartment. Um, right. They were moving stuff and obviously to take it downstairs to put in right. the rubbish. Okay. Um, I assume, yeah. We'll, we'll put a picture We're a bit low on rubbish bags, guys. Oh, we'll use the flag to take out the rubbish. Come on, we use all sorts. Not flags, though. <laughs> Not a flag. Never a flag. <laughs> oh, um, funny. In Uruguay, a very short and sweet one here, damaged national flags are burned by the military on the 24th of September. So if there's anyone from Uruguay, why? And is it just like government flags um, or is it any flags like, you know, if you or I wanted to um, get rid of an old flag, of a yeah. Uruguay flag, yeah. would we have to hand it in to, for it to be burned by the military or? Yeah, yeah. we want to know. So if anyone knows, hit us up. It'd be good. Yeah. Right. Okay. And off to Kazakhstan. So... Today, according to the constitutional law, the image of the state flag of Kazakhstan can be placed on other material objects. However, other material objects do not include disposable items. So, no bags of lollies with the Kazakhstan logo on. I'm sorry. That's a shame. <laughs> That's a shame. But do you love lollies good. and the flag? <laughs> but it is good that they're actually being quite um, relaxed about it. Yeah. And they're saying you can have it on things. So, they want you to be proud. Um, and they have absolutely beautiful triathlon suits. Oh my Just going to mention that. They're amazing. You look so, at the Olympics. Yeah. Oh man. I think they know their flag is stunning and they know people will want to use it and also it gets it out there. So yep. they're being reasonable. I think Good so. Good on you, Kazakhstan. Yes. What else nice. have we got from there? Right. So only authorized organizations have the right to manufacture the national flag, only if they have a license. That's fair enough as well, because then you have good quality flags out there, hopefully, yeah. and not none of your rubbish that we sometimes acquire. The old shower curtain quality. Yeah, so that's yeah. good. Mm. Right. So in Canada, the Queen's personal Canadian flag takes precedence over the Canadian national flag, which is very interesting. So yeah. when she visits, uh, for example, um, Parliament, the national flag on Parliament Hill is replaced with Her Majesty's national flag, a personal flag. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry. Um, 
So that's quite unusual because in most countries, the national flag always takes precedence, doesn't yes. it? It's yep. always at the top or, you know, on the right. Mm -hmm. um, Usually to the right. But, yeah. yeah. However, you know, they, they let the queens take priority yes. over it, which is kind of nice. But I must say, her flag does have a Canadian maple leaf on it. And it's very Canadian. It's not like it's a Union Jack with her face on. So. I'd like to see that, actually. Yeah, but that's nice. That's very that respectful nice. of Canada. Yep. Uh, we like that. Go Canada. So we did a bit of other research, didn't we? Yeah, just some general bits and pieces of flag rules here and there. Yeah, but yep. we wanted to look into the Nazi flag. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, it uh, associated with some terrible things. It's a real striking flag, though, and everyone yeah. um, that I speak to would agree that from a graphic design point of view, it's such a strong symbol. Striking, and you know what it is. You know? Yeah, so, you know, we wanted to find out whether it's um, okay to fly it anywhere in the world. <laughs> we certainly wouldn't, but it's actually legal in quite a few countries. Yeah. So where's it legal? Right. So in yours truly's country, we're allowed to fly to New Zealand. I would never consider doing it, but we can. It's legal in Australia as well. Canada, Finland, Hong Kong, Israel, Italy, Japan, Norway, Philippines, Somalia, Spain, Thailand, UK and USA. Like, aren't they like all the countries that fought against Germany, you know, when that flag was in use. Yeah, but I guess... That's interesting. Um, yeah, I guess a few of them are quite democratic societies. Yes, where that makes sense. They make a big deal about freedom of speech. Yes. Um, and they probably just assume that people won't fly it. Yeah, it's pretty rare. Um, It'd have to be pretty rare, right? Yeah. You'd be brave to fly that. Yeah. Um, in Germany, you can actually be fined or sent to prison for three years. Wow. And in Russia, you can receive a fine um, for as much as 100,000 rubles. So they take it very seriously there. Oh, right. Yeah. So, yeah, note to self, don't fly that flag. Yeah, has anyone ever seen one flying? Yeah, that's like, a good question. Have you ever seen that flag in use? Yeah, I certainly have not, and nope. I don't want to. No, nope, don't want to. Never seen it in New Zealand, that's for sure. No, no. Um, Amazing stuff. So, yeah, that rounds up what we found. Yeah. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Have you... Uh, done any dis misdemeanors and been in trouble for doing something wrong with a flag um we you can remain anonymous if you wish sure. we won't share it unless you give us permission uh also are you aware of any flag rules that we haven't mentioned yeah anything yeah. else we'd like to know um just any uh other yeah flag fails or stories that you may have yeah. had or have you been called out on social media like we have more than once uh, about flying a flag upside down or the wrong yeah. way or and that's it you know, that type of thing the other thing i was thinking in your country are there particular flags that are frowned upon oh yes for it's... example if you're in scotland you wouldn't go and fly an england flag probably no you probably have it your house burnt down, you know, <laughs> along yeah. with the flag. <laughs> but tell us, you know, what are the common flags and the flags that are frowned upon where you live? Yes, love that. Right, so without further ado, this has been fun. I'm Dave, this is Tracy, that's Kazakhstan. We've had a great time. Thanks for your company, and we will see you on the other side. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed us, give us a like, a subscribe, and drop your comments below. And if you didn't like us, then please just 